for the Sol Silva CNC machine build. I've got an old Toshiba 6560 CNC driver board and the power supply and then three steppers. This was purchased a few years back for a different build and it's just been in storage in the meantime. So we've rehooked this up, just running everything through to make sure everything still works. I found these boards to be really good. They're very cheap and I've done a lot of cutting with this board before. Right now this is just a gear that I designed in Inkscape and then ran through JS Cut for the tool paths. So we're just kind of throwing these around right now. This is the X, this is the Y, and this is the Z. And again, these kits are very inexpensive and I've had pretty good results with them. In moving forward with this Sol Silva CNC machine build, I've built the base following the instructions and the next step is to get the gas pipe cut to length. And I could have bought the long 10 foot sections of pipe, but the smaller ones cut down to 3 feet were just more convenient to carry. They were a little bit more expensive, but the trade off for me was okay. As far as these pipes go, the black paint is pretty rough. There's a lot of glumps and it the bearings would not roll smoothly. So to clean those off, and I've already done several of these here, I've got a very cheap Harbor Freight lathe and I made a couple brackets for these rods so we can clean them up. This is a PSI chuck. These are not too expensive. Really great upgrade for for any inexpensive lathe. And I also made some different pulley sizes here so I could slow this thing way down. So we've got our black gas pipe here, and what I found was for the threaded ends, I've got these shoulder washers that fit perfectly in each side. And what that permits is an easy point to set it onto a lathe without any belts or anything else. So this goes on to the live center, so this can spin, and then for this side, We've just got a block of wood with a center hole, some quarter inch all thread that slides into here, and then we tighten it down. These are 36 inch sections, and we've got this mounted on there, very easy, very fast. Turn on the lathe, and we're good to sand. I've been starting off with 150 grit, and then cleaning it up with 220. And we're getting nice, clean finishes on these. They look real pretty. This was a two-foot section that I'll be cutting in half for the Z, and the rest of them are 36. And after only about five or ten minutes, we've got a nice, clean look on here. It's kind of a messy job. You can see all the black that's in there and it gets all over your hands but it really makes a difference should make those bearings roll a lot more smoothly and this is also kind of a neat process for other projects I've never tried to clean up gas pipe and I can envision using these rods for other builds so I'll have to give that some thought but it certainly makes a difference with with this and that's what these shoulder washers look like they're little nylon washers I ordered about 50 of them for a different project, so I've got a whole bag of them. And they just come in useful for different things, and as it turns out, these fit perfectly in the end. Just give them a little tap. That makes putting it on the lathe super easy. Those are the gas pipes ready to be cut down to length.